Yeah, wonderful. We've been woken up in the middle of the night. But I did leave the light on so I can at least see my way to the fun. Well, that's a new job. We've got to get into town and go pick up a drunk. So this is the same person that I took the wine to. And I've been meaning to show this job for a little while, but I never got it to trigger properly. So at least now we've got the car and it's working. I can show you all the little bits like this. That's pretty good timing, actually. I just pulled out onto the road and that guy went past me, so... We are safe all the way from here, all the way up to the Mosaway. Which is perfect, actually. I think on the way back from picking up the drunk as well, after we take him home, I'm gonna go to the landfill because we need to pick up those juice bottles. Alright, here we are turning into the town. He is generally just up by the bus stop, I think. So we're not very far off. Oh hey, look who's parked outside. Now that we have the Satsuma, we could, like, start revving next to that guy and challenge him to a race. Man, pull your trousers up. Oh no, look who's coming. Let's just pull over. Away he goes. Okay, so that means we're safe down here. But that does just show you how fast driving on the motorway is compared to the dirt roads, because we got all the way from our house, where he just passed us, onto the motorway, and then all the way around to the town. Picked this guy up, and then set off back for a minute before we found him. Alright, here we go. God, you are a disaster, man. Get out of the car. Give me money. Money? Really? Okay, let's... Oh, he's walking back towards the bar. Where is he going? Okay, well, I'm gonna park up here. And then I'm gonna use this guy's well. My uh, driver door does not open. What? My passenger door opens. What's happened to the door on the driver's side? It just won't open. Okay, weird. Probably just a bug and it'll work next time I load the game. Oh, there he is. Wait, what's he doing? So he came back and then wandered off. Is he the reason my door won't open, maybe? This is weird. I'm half tempted to just quit without saving. I'll be honest with you. Well, that is kind of frustrating, but yeah, I've quit without saving just to see if my door will work this time. I unplugged the phone so I don't get woken up in the middle of the night so we can actually go about our business. We'll get on with the fish. Are we still bubbling? I'm pretty sure we are, yeah. So we'll get the fish to grandma, then we can go to the rubbish tip and I can show you that. Now, moment of truth. Does my door work? Yes, it does. So that is quite weird. I'm just going to get the Christmas lights out of here as well. I'm going to put those on the table in my bedroom, I think. We'll leave those in there. This fish trap has been really good to us. We've had a fish every time we've needed one. Including all the times that we didn't end up using it, but still. I am still kind of annoyed that we didn't get to uh, get that job completion for driving the drunk home. Ah, wonderful. Grandma's actually here this time. Yeah, you do need to do that a couple times to befriend him, and that unlocks some new story for him. Which is actually pretty interesting stuff, so I would recommend doing that job as often as you can. Let's get this fish out of here. Alright, Grandma. Here you go, here's your fish. Oh, she's warning us about the... Card's place, where I stole the car from. Okay, Grandma, tell me more. That thing in his dad played cards. His dad won, and the thing got so angry that he cursed his dad. Then his dad died in a house fire. Interesting. There is a burnt down building right next to where he lives, so that kind of adds up. Uh, here we are, let's see what we got this time. We have 260 marks, which is more than what we got for doing the, uh, the shopping for her. 
Now hopefully considering how much time passed there when I was sat talking to Grandma, we should be due a call from Fleetari as soon as we get back. Because we do have those wheels we need to pick up and install. We could even make use of his fancy toolkit while we're there actually. Ah, and another thing I didn't do was take the envelope into town. I think because I saved and quit it deleted it, so I need to redo that, uh, pick out all the parts that I wanted again, and go take that back to the shop. Alright, here we are. Not at the rubbish tip yet, but we would have turned right there to get onto the motorway. We're instead going left here, onto this tarmac road. And this is the bit that leads down to the airfield. So that's the big drag strip there. And we're just looking for a dirt track that leads off to the left hand side. And there it is. And I'm sure you can see, there's the landfill, there's huge piles of rubbish here. Now I'd recommend driving around this bit in second gear rather than third. I use third a lot for the dirt roads, but I go for second gear in here just because there's a lot of uphill sections. So the extra acceleration at low speed is definitely useful for getting around these corners because you can get yourself stuck here. It's very easy to get stuck. So where we're heading is just up here where the lamppost is. So there's also a toilet there as well. Yep, and I believe one of the bins that you can burn things in. So I'm just going to take a quick trip over the grassy verge here. Because it should be around here that things that have fallen through the world or have been thrown away up here. Yeah, right here. So you see there's all the bottles on the floor and that big sofa right there too. Okay, so are these empty bottles? They are. There is a bug where sometimes they'll return still filled with wine, but they have correctly emptied this time. And this sofa here, you can sleep on it. If you put it the right way up, that is. So yeah, you can sleep on this, which means that you want to put this in the back of the blue van, ideally, so that every vehicle you own has a place that you can sleep in, apart from the bike, because you can't exactly sleep in a bike that you can't get in. You know, you can only get on it. But, I don't know, maybe you could find a way to balance that on the, like, the little luggage rack on the back? That would be quite creative, and I would really like to see somebody do that, actually. Okay, that's all of them in there. What I think I might do is loop around to the shop and see if I can buy more. Eh, actually, I think that means that it's probably worth going home first to get the envelope, right? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, look who it is, right on time, as always. I'm really glad that I've been finding him in places I can actually avoid him. Because if, for example, I was going over this hill here and he was coming straight at me, I wouldn't have been able to see him until, like, here. And that would have been too late because the... You know, like, it's a blind corner. Oh, hey, just down the left there. The van's still there. I may have to come out with the bike and try and recover that at some point then. See if I can give that back to Uncle. Because you do need to give it back to him to unlock another vehicle. Which is what you use for the septic jobs. And here we are at home. The drive around the area is getting pretty easy, to be honest. The more you get used to it, the faster you feel comfortable going. Just checking the back of the car. Yeah, the muffler's still on. I did hear a couple pops driving down the road, but I think that's just because it's the dirt road. It's like the sound of gravel kicking up. But I just wanted to be sure anyway. I think I just heard a bubble on my way in as well. Oh yeah, there's a bubble, but they're getting very few and far between. So I think pretty soon we'll be able to open this up and bottle up all our wine. Speaking of, we do have the plastic bottles to bring back in. Now I think what I want to do is find out exactly how many bottles we can fill using one bucket. And then just have that amount of bottles forever. So like always go back to the landfill to pick them up. So that we never have to buy juice again. So that we always get the most money out of every batch of wine we can. Okay, this right here is the last one, so that means all of our plastic bottles are back. And then we can go and sort out our catalogue order. Thankfully you don't have to pay for it as soon as you post the order off, you gotta wait until it comes back. So, I wanted you, you, you... Uh, whoops. Okay, that probably will disappear when I put this lot on the next envelope, so I'll put all the same stuff back on. 
I wanted the twin carburetor. I was going to get the racing exhaust, but I think I'll leave that for the time being. Yeah, and we'll just get this stuff. And yeah, the other envelope disappeared. That'll just make it a little bit cheaper for us. Right now we don't need the racing exhaust, but we will buy it when we get the chance to. So I don't think there's anything else I need to take with me or anything else I need to do at the moment. We're just dropping off this envelope so that we can develop the Satsuma a bit. Ooh, actually, while I'm up here, I think what I'm going to do is check the post box. Just to make sure I'm not about to have my electricity cut off or anything. Because it has been a while since I've uh, looked at my bills. Electric company, 100 marks. Phone company, 120 marks. I mean, it could be worse, but still, that's like everything we got from Grandma gone already. I think what I'm actually going to do this time is instead of going on the motorway, I'm going to turn left as I come out of our long driveway. If you could even call it a driveway. It's like a personal road. And I'm going to head to Fleetari before I go into town. Because if Fleetari has finished my wheels and I just missed the phone call, and they're sitting on his counter, then I can go fit them before I go into town and do my inspection at the same time. Oh, of course, as soon as I get somewhere I need to be, look who turns up. Well, I am where I need to be. And he's still open. Hey, there we go. Look at these. The GT tires. Alright, I believe it was 13s that I needed to use to uh, take wheels on and off. So I'm going to go for his toolkit and I'm going to take the size 13. But I'm going to take this one. Instead of just the regular wrench, because it's a lot quicker. And we're going to make use of his car jack too. Alright, let's do the fronts first. Now, was it 13s? It is. Yeah, look at how fast this comes off. I don't think it's physically possible to get this thing onto a nut like that. Oh, that was dangerous. Okay. Let's get this wheel on. Just look how much better this looks already. I mean, I hope this hasn't messed with the alignment. Oh, I can't tighten them back on with this. So I have to get the regular one to do that. Okay, but I can take them off. No, I definitely can't tighten them back on like this, okay. The car has fallen off of the jack, but I think that's fine. Just gonna have to go and get the other spanner quickly. Hopefully I'm not here too long and get locked in somehow. That would not be fun. Yeah, there we go, we can tighten them on with this. But yeah, these wheels look so much better, and these new tyres are probably going to grip so much better on every surface we drive on. So all round, performance is going to be... it's going to be great. And, as mentioned, the whole reason we do this is for the inspection, which we can now pass. The car's in the right condition for it. Alright, and that is the final wheel on. So we're now fully fitted with our new tyres, our new rims. Car's looking good. You just want to lower this thing down, please? Oh no, I think the floor jack is stuck on. Oh no, there we go, I just had to do it from the other direction for some reason. Whatever. Let's put this under the uh, Ferndale and she'll lift it up. No particular reason other than he doesn't like my car, so we'll just annoy him with his own. Now, I'm going to put all the wheels in the boot. I'm probably going to put them all but one back in the garage at home. Another one I'll sort of slot into the indent at the bottom there, and we'll take it around with us as a spare tire in case we get a flat for any reason. I think that's all I'm going to fit in the boot there. So the other one could just go on the back seat. There we go, that should be alright. Okay, there's something wrong with the car now. It's not that the steering is... Oh, god, maybe it, the steering is out of whack. It doesn't feel like it's veering off to one side, it just feels like it's hitting stuff and then sort of turning on its own. I have a feeling that it's because of the wheels in the back, because it's kind of leveling out now they've had a chance to settle down. So I think that we're probably pushing us around a bit? Yeah, like that. When we go up the hill and they get moved backwards, they push us around. Right, well, I'll do what I can to get there in one piece, and then I'll take them out of the car before I put it up for inspection. 
and we'll see how it goes. Because yeah, when it seems like they've settled down, the car drives really well, and then the terrain just ruins it. Saying that, we're fine now actually. So maybe they've gotten jammed in like a specific position? Either way, I'm not going to veer off into these rocks over here, so I'm satisfied. Now, I think that by the time I get there, the inspection shop is going to be closed. But that won't really stop us. I can just go to sleep in the back of the car and then save and quit as long as it takes for me to get the place open again. Alright, here we are in town. And the car has been behaving normally. Since I mentioned it seemed to have leveled out, so I'm not too worried about that anymore. So, I think the inspection shop, if I remember right... Um... I don't think that was me. It was probably these two. Actually, yeah, it was probably these two. I don't need to worry about that, I don't think. There it is, there's the inspection shop. And it does appear to be closed, which is fine. We'll just pull up in front of it. Don't get too close to that door, by the way, because it will eat your car. And when I say eat, I mean destroy absolutely every component to a very, very catastrophic degree. Just don't do it. So when you're posting your letter, you literally just put it through the slot and let go. And that's it, that's posted. So we can't actually pay for this right now, but we can pick up a few odds and ends, like a lot of juice concentrate, so we have some more bottles, and sugar, so we can make some more wine. Oh no, what are they doing? I think they're trying to leave, but they can't move through each other. Go on, bus driver, take them out. No? Alright. Uh, is it even safe to try and get past? Okay, I'm going around the back. Alright then, let's get our shopping on the seat. Right there. And, actually, yeah, I'm probably going to want to go and get something to drink before I go to sleep, so let's just run back over to the pump. Okay, well, that's the second dead body that guy's made today. Let's maybe get this guy out of the road. Can I move him? Come on, pal. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, I don't think he is rescuable. I think he's gone now. So much for helping him though, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you just drive into my car? Hang on. Is the Sansuma okay? Is it dented? He's dented the bodywork over the back left wheel, yeah. Uh, all my stuff still seems to be inside the car. Right, well, let's just hope that it's okay still. We might have to, um... Delete an image to fix that. Oh, well, I went to sleep, but because my fatigue wasn't very high, I only slept for like two to three hours. So I guess I'm just going to have to save and quit until I can get in there. The sleeping wouldn't have even changed anything. Okay, what time is it? Right, it's gone eight now, which means that this place should be... Yeah, it's open. So what we're going to have to do is drive the Satsuma into the car left in the inspection shop over there and go in through the office and pay for an inspection. And I believe, yeah, all the denting has now been fixed. Wonderful. As mentioned, you just need to delete the, uh, the save for the mesh of the car, so that when it's regenerated, it puts, like, an actual complete mesh in for you. It has no performance impact, and it's incredibly expensive to fix, so... I don't really mind doing that so much, even if it is cheating a bit. Alright, we are now on the car lift. We're not on very stable. In fact, we're kind of hanging off a bit, so I might just push the car slightly. No, not my thumb. My pushing hands. There we go. That should be enough. Yeah, I reckon that's probably going to be safe. 
So. You there. I would like an inspection. 325 marks, it's an expensive thing to do. But off he goes, he's gonna lift the car up, and quite comically inspect the underside by just tapping it with a screwdriver, because that's how you find all the faults in a car. Alright, off he goes. Sounds like he's been quite rough with it, to be honest. I suppose if anything falls out, that's the way to find it. Okay, he's on his way back, so let's go back into the office and just wait for him to come through. Okay, here we are, what's the result? Yeah, perfect. Passed. So, everything's good. You can use these bits at the top here just to change the language. In case, you know, you can't read one of them. But this is everything that he checks. And, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. So we now have our registration plates. So, I'm going to get these on. Now we do have to have this done every couple weeks, I think. We have to bring the car back. Just to make sure that it's still in the same condition. And that we haven't done any like, illegal modifications to it. So let's pop that on there. Now you don't have to actually attach these in any way other than just slapping them on the side. So, no need to bolt them on or anything. Alright, well that is a successful pass on the inspection. Now we can drive down the motorway and not get fined because we don't have the proper registration. Alright, let's get out of the back here then. Where do I go next? I suppose I just go home. Because I need to wait for my wine to finish brewing. And I also have the other supplies for it, so I've got more juice for more bottles. And I have some more sugar so we can make some more wine right after I pull the other stuff out to sell. And the only thing other than that is we're waiting on a call back from Timo for the parts we ordered through the catalogue. But yeah, these tyres feel really good. We're actually sticking to the road now. And I think I just got radar gunned. That's a police checkpoint right there. And he wants me to stop. Alright then, let's do the breathalyzer. Is it gonna let me? I don't seem to be allowed to do a breathalyzer. F, E, Q? Nope. Uh, that just gives him a kiss. Left click, right click. I, I can't do it, officer. I literally cannot interact with the breathalyzer. Oh, there we go. You happy? Alright, thanks officer. At least we know now that we don't have any pending fines, so I definitely didn't run over the guy that was in the town. But we are kind of slipping down this hill. So I'm going to get out of here before we, uh, you know, can't get back out again. Hopefully without hitting the officer of the law. Nope, we're good. Nobody coming behind us, so let's get out of here. So that checkpoint will change position every day, I believe. I think I mentioned this before, but there's like three, three or four different places they can go on the motorway. Just in the whole loop around the map. So you really have to pay attention to where they are. I'm really satisfied with how the Setsuma has gone so far. It's performing well, it's controlling well. We've got more parts on the way so we can make it even better pretty soon. All of the jobs we're doing at the moment are going so smoothly. Just really enjoying the game. It's been fun. I can still hear bubbles as well, so I'm not quite ready with the wine. But we do have more supplies to go in the brewing cupboard. And of course, there are the wheels to get out of here. Which will hopefully mean that our car will stop juddering around on roads whenever I hit like a hill or a bump or something. We don't really need the warning triangle in here anymore. But I think I'm just going to leave it in there, just in case I forget to pick it back up when we have to go for another inspection. So the spare wheel can just go into here. 
Does it not even fit in the hole? You'd have thought it would have like connected in, like you would have gotten a uh, a tick mark to say it could go in that space. Yeah, it's kind of wobbling about a bit. I think I'd rather put it a bit further back and have it stable. And then we can like put the warning triangle on top of it to hold it down or something. And the fuel can go in on this side. And the toolkit can go in on the other side. Alright, well that is everything in the brewing cupboard. It's going to be forever before we run out of yeast, isn't it? I think we've got enough for five more batches, it looks like. And it's taken us this long to get our second one nearly ready. So that is a lot of progress this time around as well. We've got our inspection done. We have our license plates, so now the Satsuma is road legal. So what do we do next time? Let me think. I'm probably going to rescue the van in my free time and bring that back. So that Uncle can take that, which means that we'll be a step closer to unlocking the septic tank jobs. We need to wait for our call back from Tima for the parts we ordered. Just trying to think if there's anything else around the map I can take. Yes, we need to go hunting for Rex so that I can get the GT Center console. Because that's an important part of the GT trim and it looks fantastic. But other than that, we're starting to run out of things to do. So like I mentioned last time, if you've got things to suggest, do feel free to let me know. I think the only thing I might not do until the very end is the rally. And there is an actual legitimate ending to the game, which we're going to finish with. But I think for the time being, we're done. <laughs>